video. In this video, today I am going to discuss about the EPI schedule that is expanded program on immunization or uh, in different countries they are called as national immunization schedule of different countries. Now today mainly we are going to discuss about the EPI schedule of Nepal, India, Bangladesh and Pakistan. Now before starting each country, let's di discuss one universal uh, EPI schedule and then divide to according to the country. Now there are different vaccines given to a child after a birth. Immediately after birth, one vaccine is given called BCG vaccine. Immediately after birth or at birth, vaccine is given called BCG vaccine. And in six week, and in six week there are five vaccine is given. Remember, in six week there are five vaccine is given. First is first one is pentavalent first first dose of pentavalent second one is oral polio vaccine first dose third one is in a fractional dose of inactivated polio vaccine fourth one is pneumococcal conjugated vaccine first dose this all are first dose and fifth one is rota vaccine first dose in six week in six week we are giving to a baby five vaccine all those are first dose that is pentavalent first dose oral polio vaccine first dose, fractional dose of inactivated polio vaccine first dose, three vaccine and pneumococcal conjugated vaccine first dose and rota vaccine first dose in six weeks and in ten weeks we are giving four dose of four different vaccine that is pentavalent second, oral polio vaccine second, pneumococcal conjugated vaccine second and rota vaccine second in ten weeks we are giving total Four vaccine here in six week there are five vaccine here four vaccine and in 14 weeks there are also four vaccine first one is pentavalent third dose oral polio vaccine third dose inactivated fractional dose of fractional dose of inactivated polio vaccine second dose and pneumococcal conjugated vaccine third dose so there are also four vaccine we are giving this different vaccine at the interval of four weeks. Why there is four weeks? Why not two weeks, three weeks? The four week there is minimum four week time is required to form the antibody against this uh, vaccine. If we give the vaccine before four weeks, then the efficacy of vaccine will be lost. So minimum duration will maintain it, that is four week. Now after fourteen week there are three vaccines later. After completion of nine months, that is MR vaccine first dose is given. And there is two dose of MR vaccine. After completion of nine months, one first dose is given. And after completion of 15 months, second dose is, dose is given. That is, in after completion of nine months, MR first dose is given. And after completion of 15 months, MR second dose is given. In between nine and 15, there is another vaccine. Vaccine for Japanese encephalitis. It is given at 12 months. Okay, remember this. After completion of 9 months, MR first. After completion of 15 months, MR second dose. And in between 9 and 15, there is another vaccine for vaccine for Japanese encephalitis. Now let's discuss about country wise. For Bangladesh, this is universal EPI schedule. For Bangladesh, there are some vaccines are not included. The vaccine which are not included in EPI schedule of Bangladesh is this one. Rota vaccine is not included in Bangladesh and Japanese encephalitis vaccine. These three vaccines are not included in EPI schedule of Bangladesh. And this all, this is one is universal and including Rota and Japanese encephalitis, this schedule is uh, commonly used in Nepal and India. This schedule is used in Nepal and India. In case of Pakistan, they are giving typhoid vaccine after two years. This only they are uh, adding one extra vaccine. This all vaccine, and they are using using one extra vaccine that is typhoid vaccine after age of two years. So this is country wise uh, division of EPI schedule. Now route of administration. In which route we are giving this vaccine? This is very much important question. And now let's discuss about the route of administration of different vaccine. Let's discuss from first. 
the one and only vaccine in EPI schedule that is given in intradermal route. Remember, the one and only vaccine in EPI schedule that is given in intradermal route that is BCG vaccine. Intra intradermal route. Now oral route. Now let's discuss about another route that is oral route. For easy to remember, that is oral polio vaccine. It is obviously oral route. Oral route. Oral route for it is oral polio vaccine. And next vaccine that is given in oral route is I give one this and this for two. Next vaccine the, that we give for oral route is rota vaccine. It prevents from diarrhea and the mode of transmission of diarrhea is fecal oral route. Remember like this. Mode of transmission of diarrhea is fecal oral route and the vaccine is also given in the oral route. Second oral route is given one is oral polio vaccine and second is rota vaccine. Now let's discuss about another route that is IM route. Intramuscular. There are a lot of vaccine given in, in this route. The vaccine that given in intramuscular route are pentavalent vaccine. There are five combinations. I will discuss later what are the vaccines in the pentavalent. This is given in IM route, intramuscular route and pneumococcal conjugated vaccine is also given in intramuscular route and fractional dose of inactivated polio vaccine is also given in intramuscular route and another route is subcutaneous route remember that we are giving after completion of month here is also month here is also month here is also month all are month this all month vaccine is given in subcutaneous route remember like this subcutaneous route after completion of 9 months 12 months 15 months these three vaccine are given in subcutaneous route route is there are four route this one is 3 and this is 4. There are total 4 root. That is intradermal. One and only vaccine intradermal. That is BCG vaccine. Oral root. That is oral polio vaccine and rota vaccine. Intramuscular. Pentavalent. And uh, fractional dose of inactivated polio vaccine and pneumococcal vaccine. And subcutaneous root is MR and Zagnes encephalitis vaccine. We will discuss about root of administration. Now we will discuss this thing that is which are which are the disease that is, is preventable from this schedule I will discuss vitamin A supplementation later first discuss this uh, disease preventable from EPI schedule there are total 12 diseases that we prevent from this schedule if we vaccinate by the, the, uh, this vaccine to a child properly we can prevent from the 12 disease let's discuss serially First, from the BCG, we can prevent tuberculosis. Second, from pentavalent, there are five diseases. The five diseases are DPT, that is diphtheria, tetanus, parotiosis, hepatitis B, hemophilus influenza B. There are six. And five diseases, total we are, are counted six. Now, another disease is poliomyelitis. From oral polio vaccine, we will prevent poliomyelitis. And from pneumococcal conjugated vaccine, we will prevent pneumococcal infection like pneumonia. And from rota vaccine, we will prevent rota viral diarrhea. And from MR, two diseases is prevent. One is measles, another is rubella is present, uh, prevented. And from JE, that vaccine against Japanese encephalitis, Japanese encephalitis is present. So there are around total number of the total, there are 12 diseases, that disease is prevented from this vaccine. Now let's discuss about the vitamin A supplementation. Along with this EPI schedule, there is a plan of every government that they are giving vitamin A from six months of child up to five years. That is, they start vitamin A, they start to give the child vitamin A from six months up to five years. So starting dose, starting dose of vitamin A is one lakh international unit. They will start vitamin A in the six month. That is, in the six month they will start one lakh international unit per. In six month they will start one lakh international unit. International unit. From six month it is start its first dose, and in every six month, this is first dose. This is first dose, and in every six month they are giving two lakh international unit up to 5 years. This is vitamin A. 
uh, supplementation. Vitamin A is given from is from the baby when the baby reaches to six months. Vitamin A is given first dose is one lakh international unit, and in every six month, every every six month we will give two lakh international unit up to five years. Remember this vitamin A. Now let's discuss about. It's all about EPI schedule. Let's discuss about next schedule that is tetanus toxide schedule or TT schedule. It's mainly given to a woman of adult uh, reproductive age woman that is from 15 years to 49 years. 15 to 49 years. Adult one adult uh, woman of re reproductive age group. Now there are total five five schedule. There are total five schedule. First one is given when the lady is come on our, our contact. That is when the lady come. The first schedule is given after fifteen years. That first schedule is given, and the first schedule have no any protection. And second second dose is given one month after first dose. Second dose is given one month after the first dose. It has a protection around three years. And third dose is given six months after second dose. Six months after second dose, its protection is around five years. And fourth dose is given one year after the third dose, and its protection is around ten years. And fifth dose is given. It is also called booster dose. It is given one year after the fourth dose, and its protection is lifelong immunity. If a woman uh, take a five vaccine of TT. Five dose of TT vaccine, then she will she have like lung immunity. Now there are some cases like if the patient who if a woman who doesn't take any um, TT vaccine and she is come on uh, she is come with you, then what you can do? If the uh, woman comes with a pregnancy, she cannot. Uh, but previously she didn't take any vaccine. Then we can. Give two vaccine. Two dose of TT is given here. In this condition, two dose of the TT is given. One is given when the patient is come with you. Immediately, first dose is given when the patient is come with you. And second dose is given at the interval of four weeks. Remember that TT in pregnancy. First dose is given when the patient is come on contact with you. And second dose is given at the interval of after four weeks. That is after one month, second dose is given. Now remember, for, uh, from here we have to remember very, the uh, very much important question regarding this is root. I have already mentioned that intradermal, intramuscular, oral, and subcutaneous root. This is the very much important things. And TT in pregnancy, we are we are giving two dose in the interval of one month. This is important. We are sub vitamin A supplementation. We are starting vitamin A supplementation from six month up to five years at the interval of six month. Six. We are starting six months up to five years at the interval of six months. Remember this thing. Starting dose is one lakh international unit per liter, and after six months, every six months we are giving two lakh international unit per liter. And remember this thing: six week, ten week, fourteen week, and completion of nine month, twelve month, and fifteen month. This is the APA schedule. And this is for today's discussion. If you like our video, please subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thank you.